in this message you are going to remember one of your greatest achievements think a little bit what is one of my greatest achievements bless it in a time of your life wow wow unspeakable joy you must remember swept over you <laughs> to a point you could say maybe this was for you what glory feels like I'm going to take you somewhere here. But the how always defines the purpose. People usually get blinded by the how, then by what the achievement represents to you. What it can or may bring in your life. When I mean the how, people get somewhere by stealing, by killing. And people say, this is by killing, he get there. This is by stealing, he got there. My God, my God. Also, they may say, this is by going to school. You get there. Who can truly blame them for wanting to duplicate your success? And guess what? Jesus said to me, this is where you enter. The king's snare. My God, my God. You have presented an offering. And it was welcomed, approved, and accepted by your God. The king's snare is a trap of the devil to destroy. And we know Cain ended up killing Hallelujah. his brother Abel. Wow. An achievement is a summit. A blessing from the Lord. But Satan would have people believe that it is all you, not God at all. I'm going to say things from now to, to the end of the year, things unheard of unheard of I will need your attention my God my God listen to this when you reach a milestone people under you convert your position and people already there 
will not make room for you. My God, my God. Two groups of people are competing to see you fall. I know that very well, you know. We, I, after we bought this building, I, I bring a group of pastors here and I can see jealousy, jealousy in their faces. I said, whoa, that was a mistake. And one of them was candid enough. They said, we don't want any more Haitian pastor in the area. I said, what I'm doing is bigger than Haiti. <laughs> Glory to God! But I want you here to say with me, Victim, I am not. Repeat that. Victim, I am not. Victim, you are not, my brother. Victim, you are not, my sister. Nothing comes to you unless you allow it. We are facilitators of good or bad outcomes. The control of your destiny is in your hand. Here is the problem, said the Lord Jesus Christ. God has trusted you with his word and you cannot trust yourself to live right in it. So when the pressure comes, you look to sin, to get even. And, and you forget. Sin brings death. The death of your dream and your very own Hallelujah. Also, you find yourself forgetting this commitment of God. Thou shalt not covet. The devil will use covetousness on both sides of the fence. People covet your position and you covet theirs. I'm giving you an example. You, you need a job? Pray for the job, you get the job. Now you worry about this person making more money than you. Saying, who is that person making more money than me? But I'm taking you back to Genesis where God said, I have put enmity between the devils of spring and Eve's of spring. To the devil, God said, He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. Genesis 3, verse 15. The key is, we must take this preemptive strike and not wait for the snake to bite your heel. Yes, you must make this preemptive strike. You understand what I'm saying? Crush the head of the devil first. Before. This is how you conquer in life. The devil of springs are foul spirits. And I'm going to mention some of them. Of envy or covetousness, jealousy, anger, hate, persecution, etc. I can list any one of active evil spirits in the world right now. In this battle. To keep what you have. This is your achievement. In progress, you may lose yourself 
to the point of blindness and confusion if I must mention these two evil spirits. You see yourself at the top, totally confused and blinded. My God, my God. You find yourself not knowing what to do. You practically forget that God has made all things available to you. I mean all. Everything that you ever needed to get where you are, everything you need to sustain you, and everything you will need in the future. So what's your problem? I have partners opening up business and, and they think everything will go smooth. Guess what? You will have problem. People will challenge you, steal from you, want to destroy you. Coming and crying. This is where you must realize that an achievement is not only the obtaining of a position, but also a beginning, like a birth. And what you obtain, you must earn. Set the Lord Jesus Christ unto me. And suddenly your summit becomes a valley. Totally in the open, you are exposed. And guess what? The eyes of the world, of the world, are upon you. They are watching. You. They are watching you. To see if this is all you got. That's all you got? Raise your hand for that and you will see. They will categorize you and put you in a box. And you start and you stop going. But we have something in us. Something bigger than us. When they count you out. This is the time you find yourself out of the box. <laughs> Hallelujah. People may even tell you that you are too ambitious. Be satisfied. Like they said to that little boy, he said, I want to be a dog. And he said, why don't you be a carpenter? <laughs> but he said, I want to be a dog. Amen and amen. Maybe they have forgotten this word of God in the beginning. Let us make men in our image, in our likeness, and let them wool. My God, my God. You are in the likeness of God. God is a creator. Therefore, you are equipped to have your own creation. Another achievement is looming at the horizon. You will have more more things to climb. After all, life is a continuous climbing. Standing still is just a waste of your time, my brother. A waste of your time, my sister. The earth is constantly moving. You might as well move along with, with it. Wow. I spent three weeks, probably more, 
Because when I enter this channel, I have to find myself in it and realize that I was out of my body. And I was living in the spirit. I was there. But not really there. My God, my God. Maybe you should do that sometime. Step out of your body so you may look and learn from within what is going on around you. I had many things to learn from the Lord. And many things to observe through the eyes of my spirit. During that time, I realized that my right to my next achievement will need people. Yes, people are your engine. They are the speed. You may say, these very people who hate me, envy me, and ready to kill me. You are saying, praying up soul that I need them. Yes, you need them. Otherwise, you will be your own stumbling block. Learn this. When you achieve something, you usually do the victory sign from one point towards. One lead to true ascension and the other to false ascension or your descent. I have to tell you, 90% of the time, people choose the false ascension and then they don't. They send it. At the top, you must conquer evil with good. People will send on you in the beginning until you prove them wrong. You do so not by fighting, but by displaying your good intent. Don't say, they're talking bad about me, I'm talking bad about them. No, 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 you will get caught and they will not, okay? Right now, I'm going to have you repeating this with me. I got Christ, I got God. Christ is my birth offering. I got Christ, remember this. I got God. Christ is my birth offering. I'm going to give you the story of a man in the Bible. His name is Manoah. His wife was barren. They couldn't have children. One day the angel of the Lord, Jesus, visited his wife to tell her, you are going to conceive and have a son. We read that in Judge 13 verse 3. And he gave her a nutrition plan what she should eat and drink, what to avoid, such as wine, alcohol, or fermented drink. But Manoah, his wife had the visitation. Manoah said, 
Now I went and prayed God and said, God send Jesus back. That angel back again to confirm what my wife is saying. And guess what? God sent back Jesus, the angel of the Lord. Manoah was so happy. When Jesus came back, he wanted to prepare a meal for Jesus. We imagine Jesus as an angel. And uh, Manoah think, you know, he got some good food here for Jesus to eat. You imagine e Jesus eating the good things of heaven. <laughs> Let us read together Judge 13, verse 16, and verse 19 and 20. The angel of the Lord, Jesus replied, Even though you detain me, I will not eat any of your food. <laughs> but if you prepare a bird offering, offer it to the Lord. Verse 19, Then Manoah took a young goat, together with the grain offering and sacrifice it on the walk to the Lord. And the Lord, guess what? Did an amazing thing while Manoah and his wife watch. As the flame blazed up from the altar from heaven, toward heaven, the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame. My God, my God. Imagine somebody physically near you and then now enter the film and ascend to heaven right before your eyes. My God, my God. This is one of the signs to tell you Jesus is the burnt offering to God. He said, prepare the burnt offering. And I'll show you really who I am. Because they were asking, who are you? What is your name? And Jesus said, okay, I'm going to show you. <laughs> amen and amen. Within a year, Manoah's wife gave birth to a son. And they named him Samson. Let me go back to your life. When you reach a plateau, a plateau, a summit. You usually find yourself barren, unfruitful, and unproductive. Do not panic. Said the Lord God Almighty unto you this day. Manoah and his wife prayed, and God sent Jesus. Today, I'm asking you. In the name of Jesus, to place on the altar a burnt offering for God. You are listening. And this month I said to you, is the month to place on the altar a burnt offering. Some of you, 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 you are so caught up in religion. You said, whoa, what this guy is talking about? Never heard of that. My church said, put an offering. But guess what? Search your Bible and you will know the importance of the birth offering. My God, my God. And God will validate your faith by giving you what you want. When you where you are, let me let me tell you something. Where you are is already an achievement. This is why the devil wants to dethrone you. He wants you to run away and forsake what you have. But the advice of the Lord to you this morning, you must crush his head by saying, I have more mountains to climb. Actually, I have. You must say, I have another mountain, a new mountain to climb. And this time, 
you say to the devil, I will give birth to a Samson. A deliverer. Hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I'm asking you to realize that the devil, when you achieve something, will come after you. We'll have people at the bottom and at the top trying to cause you to fall. But if you pray, God, God will send Jesus. This is the importance of the birth of hell. And from time to time, I want you to offer that to God to validate your request. And I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lord wants me to give you an opportunity to be a part of His movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report. And the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and Amen.